first round, seed one versus seed eight. We have a substitution coming in late because someone did not decide to show up. And so now our good friend Jalen is here, the Charizard main, to play off against our number one ranked opponent. Oh my, boy. my subtle prediction is I think Jalen's going to get a couple quick kills with things like flare blitz and maybe like an up smash or two because of just how fast it is. Uh, and I know Jalen likes to do a lot of uh, like back airs just like Seth at ledge, just reading jumps and such. Uh, so we'll see how Shaq adapts to this, but we'll... Shaq is a pretty phenomenal player, so I feel like he'll adapt fairly quickly once he realizes Jalen's entire game plan, but... We'll have to wait and see, and we're off straight away. Battlefield Pokemon Stadium 2, not normal Pokemon Stadium 2. Very interesting mix-up. <laughs> You're right. I first... They, they goofed. Yep. They messed up the stages. Okay. Well, it's fine. <laughs> we'll, let, let's just roll with it. Don't worry about it. They messed up the big time. Stages are going to help Sephiroth quite a bit, though, because you'll probably get some good laddering, but... They gentlemen to a stage they didn't people. know they were going to. <laughs> they both were probably preparing for PS2. <laughs> PS2. Instead, it's like bad at Jalen already at 160. Meanwhile, Shag is not... Oh, never mind, never mind. You got a couple percentage there. Tie to be uppies. Okay. Goes for the shield break. Shield break. That was a really good idea. Charizard living at 186. And he's gone with a very well-spaced back air. All right, we're seeing Squirtle. Oh, no, goes straight to Ivysaur. Are we going to see a Charizard swap immediately? Doesn't actually look like it. Looks like Jalen's going to stay on the Ivysaur a little bit longer than uh, predicted. The pressure is absurd. Everything. Absolutely. I mean, Chag is reading every single one of Jalen's options right now. It is an absolute bloodbath. Got the clank there on the side B. That's helpful. That helps. Shag gonna back off a little bit, give him some space, and then side B's him, goes for the fair. Up smash, he might be dead. Oh, he's gone at the, yep, wow. side B. Oh, Excellent oh. timing from Shag. He could not be any better for him there. Jalen on his last stocks, Shag still sitting on all three and only on 62%. He probably didn't want dash attack, maybe moving forward till. Just got more side B's going. Jalen keeps getting caught by these side B's and he's taking a lot of punishment from it. Good coverage on the ledge there. Still going for up there. Three okay. in a row. Not getting hit by any of them, but he did try. Using all of his options. It's been with Nair. Oh, misses that punish. This is hard. Nair is going to deny the down there as well. Once again, these side beats just coming out. Taking Jalen for a ride. Is he going to get the read? Oh, it's just neutral. Get up straight into it. Doesn't die yet, though. Oh, it goes high and it's over. It gets poked from five feet away with Sephiroth's long sword. That's game one to Shag. Reasonable, reasonable outcome for our number one seed here. Jalen, what will he do coming back after this? Uh, looks like no character swaps. Let's see. No swap. So they are playing on Smashville. Uh, which is an interesting pick. I actually don't know if I necessarily agree with Smashville for Pokemon Trainer, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe he's got something in mind. Meanwhile, meanwhile Shag just dominating every game. All right, and we're off. Immediately throwing fists. The amount of aerial pressure that Shag has demonstrated already is incredible. 74% already. And the falling fair, that's his special right there. The speed and that he gets off stage. And then the oh, gets to death. scoop. That's gone. Almost a zero to death, not quite. Oh, goes high at the razor leaf, misses Whoa. Shag completely. That was like a drag down. Oh, the perfect parry on the first jab there, but not the rest of them. Up throw Nair. That's a real combo. Oh, up smash. He might die. Ooh, was, nope. He, he got lucky. The side B actually uh, messed up his timing on the up air there. He would have died for certain. And he is gone. The scoops. Well, Jalen has one stock left. And Shag just dominating. Has barely taken any percent at all. Once again, up, up throw Nair. And that platform is just helping him. How quickly he's getting out to these options after just basic shit like up throw reads into more grabs, it's just too quick. 
Absolutely, and uh, oh, once again, just gets scooped. He's not shielding that. Even Jalen. Oh, and gets the huge read on the uppy, and that is gonna do it. Your top seed, Shag, didn't even lose a stock. Only 53%. Shag wow. is definitely looking like an absolute menace in this tournament. That is yeah. one way to make the top seed feel like a top seed. Oh. Shag, an absolute hey, Shag. domination of uh, skill right there. You absolutely Quite destroyed Jalen the entire Quite set. I want to let you know of how much I fucking hate body PT and stuff for off. <laughs> <laughs> Why specifically? I think, I because, think Sephiroth, been... because Squiddle is just too good against Sephiroth because of this small ass. Ivy throws is just annoying and Charles is just, <laughs> no. <laughs> and a little evident from our matches yesterday, Pauls. Even uh, Jalen was realizing he couldn't play Dizard versus Seth, or at least... Yeah, Ivy. he went to Ivy pretty quickly, and it didn't yeah. work out for him. It really wasn't working out, honestly. Also, uh, Shag, also, one thing that we do have to say real quick is that you, your, your, like, up throw and air combos are godlike speed fast. Yeah, it's pretty quick, I'll give you that. All right, coming into the Bray-Quent matchup, we have what I presume will be... Joker. Oh, I'm just completely wrong. It is Cloud Mario. I don't Cloud know. Cloud Mario. Other than Quent personally telling me about how he wanted to play Cloud in the tourney, I don't know if I've seen either of these two play these characters this way, but we'll see. Competitive Cloud is something else. Definitely competitive Cloud is something else. I mean, I think the best uh, player we have in competitive uh, Smash is definitely Spargo. For, uh, I believe expected to be number one this season. Well, boy. So. He's putting up a lot of pressure already. He's spacing out these bears perfectly. Miss input there, though. Input. Oh, now they're spaghetti. Nice a little parry. Bit. Nice parry. Good spacing once again. Very good spacing. Limit coming okay, in. Okay, nice. That was a mm. cloud air dodge. That was a very lingering down air. Very good. I think he wanted neutral B, but it's okay. This is definitely their first matches of the day. Yeah, definitely. This really feels like <laughs> I think they might be going to agree with it, though. Nicely as possible. Mm -hmm. A little bit of their ability to avoid hits is doing more than their ability to hit things. Yep. Definitely seems like it. Um, five off base. Really good recovery, man. Very there. good recovery. Wow, well spaced. Bray on the move here. That Bree reverse Very actually gave him really good spacing because it put him underneath the stage. Good Whoa! cape! Wasn't ready! Good reflect. He was not ready for that. Very good cape. Didn't get the down air. Nice DI. Yeah. Very good DI coming from uh, Bray. Mario gets that privilege of fallen fireballs, but not nothing compared to Limit. What a read. Nice. Nice read with the rollout. He definitely nice wants more than jab. Maybe he wants. Maybe he wants these tech chases of jab. Ooh, that's whoa. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Reverse hit block. Up smash. We're whipping a lot of things today, boys. Clean up on aisle smash. Oh my goodness! All right, that's a nice, nice small screen going. Reverse up smash. Cloud's gonna it's lose this dead. stock. Oh my goodness, he can't kill the Mario at 153. He's oh. losing it. And oh, the disrespect. Oh. Why? Oh, Bray, oh, I cannot believe you. Coming out of the gates. You. What is this? That was, that, that was a mean watching? back air. That, that came out with passion. <laughs> what am I watching? Uh, Cloud 4, or sorry, Smash 4. Nice dash attack. Can you get this push? No, you can't. Bray playing a little late. Good jab. Go low. Good. I don't know if I would have. Mm, it's okay. Mm. Nice. Well done. Well played right there. Bray coming back here. Oh, 
Ooh, they gotta land something. Dash attack coming in. Something. Oh. Hmm. Could have. Uh, Could have punished that. Bray dropping shield. Bray's losing that momentum. Quen's picking it up. Quen does seem to pick up right now. Uh, oh Is the no. The option here. No option. Confusion 100. Maybe this is the <gasps> one. Oh, that's a very good move. Might be the one. Hold up. He chooses to go for limit, and then another uh, shield drop. Oh, that shield. must have poked. Uh, shield drop. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, it probably didn't poke. Wow. <gasps> Bray's gonna wow. have to adapt to that, or else Cla or Quent's gonna... Oh. oh. And he doesn't finish it. He doesn't got lazy. It off. Did not finish that plate of food right there. Quinn's got so much work to do here. Let's see if he can begin it. Probably didn't want to run that far away. Now with the space bears and the up smash to take it. Up Jeez. smash. Reverse up smashes. Bray definitely wouldn't have wanted to keep it that close. But the thing is, we know that Bray had the momentum from the beginning and Quent needed just so much to come back. But the good news is, I believe both of these are going to be counterpicked. And ultimately, I believe so. I think we're going to see a DLC game coming up. We'll see, though. Let's see. We'll see what happens. Let's see what they choose to pick. I'd be shocked if one of them didn't switch here. I'm utterly shocked. Second match of the fight, we didn't get a switch from Bray, but we did from Quent. Quent goes his number one pick, Ridley, because he's been labbing the shit out of him and trying his best to become the best Ridley player around. And on the other side, we have Bray sticking with the Mario. This would be interesting because Ridley's got a lot of reach, but also gets just... Uh, this is going to be interesting because it's, Ridley's got a lot of reach, but for the most part, falls right into Mario combos quite easily. Yes, definitely. Combos. Mario combos can just very easy to land on Ridley, especially with the big body size. Mario having these quick, uh, pretty fairly quick, uh, frame to work for it, so. Quinn's gonna have to play this entire game with, like, a tail's length distance between him and Mario at all times, because he has to be able to react to both Mario grabs, but also stuff like falling bears and up bears. And so, yeah. distance is bad for Mario, and distance is really important for Quinn. That tail, not fair, not moves like that. It was down tilt and space Mario out into those. Oh my goodness, he wants that back so bad. Oh, if he could hold that up smash for two more seconds. All Not right, two more seconds, like literally a frame. Oh no, my screen. A frame. Pretty keeping up the spacing. Gets hit by a rogue oh, upbeat! Gets hit. gets hit. Oh my goodness, Quinn takes the first shot. Starts it off with the grab. Bray falling into the fairs. Bray risky falls into air fairs. dodge. Very risky air dodge, yeah. All that right. arm extended his hitbox perfectly. Bray perfectly. Bray's biting back. Wow, you He's can't fall into those. Back. Oh no! He didn't have a jump! He was spamming no cape! No, no jump for Bray. Oh. Combo food. Combo food. Ridley's just straight up combo food. Bray's gonna have to make some guesses here. Huh? <gasps> wall jump? Oh no. Oh no. Couldn't. Uh. Bray. Bray just Bray. laps. I think he Bray wanted that air dodge it. way sooner and it came out after like a tail tickled him a little and everything yeah. fucked up there. Everything went south. Yeah. I think it just went downhill from there. Oh my goodness, that is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Oh my goodness. Can you, oh see, goodness. Did you see this? Did, is there no way? No way. This entire game is going to be completely different to the last one. Bray's going to spend half the map on half the map, half the game standing <laughs> on one side, just baiting him into doing something dumb or doing a bad option or running in or side being. And then he's going to punish him over and over. We'll see how Quinn adapts here. Let's see how this works. I mean, this is definitely, uh, kind of sounds like something Sonic's gonna be doing. Bray coming out super aggressive. Oh! 
Brent's getting good it's reads. S -match. And by good, I mean really. Oh my god, I got another oh one! Oh my goodness, another one. It's another one. Oh, he got, he got a little too greedy there. A little too greedy wait right for there. Bray's reaction. Mm. Bray, oh, oh Bray, don't get hit by another one. one. <laughs> don't get hit by another one. <laughs> okay. Fighting back. You can already see the momentum in Quent's hole. How's this gonna oh. go? He's, oh, they're no. both fine. <gasps> Ooh, oh, that was scary. sus, but Ridley's got a good aerial drift off that up B. Very good aerial drift. Very good. Oh, oh no. no. Ray lost that patience. Fast. He started the game for two seconds with some patience, and it was gone ever since. Quent hit two oh. up Bs. And... Oh. Oh. I already know Quent was getting excited when that happened because I'm a there's too a. Excited right there. Yeah, there's like. There's definitely a chance that he gets away with something like that and gives him off the stage, but not today. <laughs> not today. Not happening. I can't help but think Quent needs to change up the plan here from the F smashes because there's no way Bray just keeps falling into those like the first stock went. Yeah, I don't. I think Bray at this point is going to become very aware, aware of the um, F smashes. Bray taking uh, monkey see monkey do from Quent's cloud, air dodging over <laughs> an F smash. Smash! All these S matches. What a read! Mm, what a read! Jump from the ledge. I haven't been watching Quent's uh, ledge options. Is it all jumps? It might be. Ridley would really do well with. It. Ridley does exceptional when coming up. Oh, I get to call it the F smash. F wow. smash again. <laughs> Another. Oh, okay, Sonic. Yeah, Sonic fights back with the. Uh, Game right, three, stock final stock. Final stock in uh, Wiz bracket. Bray, what are we doing here? You're gonna have to try. Doing? You're gonna have to try something figure new. Figure something out. Figure something out. If you can't, yeah, figure something out. All right. Bray, okay. With the momentum. Good start. Not using the spring off stage. Just waiting for the ledge. <laughs> really good ledge trapping up until then. Now getting some patience. Quent patient himself. Quent moving All in right. with the dash attack, camps out with the Best plasma attack. breath, and it works! <gasps> I, these options are a little greedy. These, and by uh, greedy, definitely. I mean, you, dude, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, I don't... I don't know... I don't know if uh, I agree with you. Quent, these, uh, we're just... Party. we're guessing. This is... a multiple choice question. <laughs> what are we doing? Oh. Right, picking up the right, pace. Picking Quent's the gonna pace. have to take him seriously now. Yeah, this is, uh... Oh, What's man. the confirm here, Bray? What are you thinking about? You already know Quent wants something like dash attack? <laughs> into a smash attack. One side B is going to do it, too. A lot of moves here. Do it for Ridley. Ah, oh, downer is so scary. I can't believe he got away with all that end lag. That's going to kill. No, it's not. I'm completely wrong. Wrong. That's wrong. The back air! Oh my god! He came back! Oh my goodness. It was the jump reads oh at ledge! The jump it did reads him at in. ledge. Oh my goodness. Wow! The, I can't help but feel like if Quent didn't use the smash attacks on that final stock, he would have just hit some loose nares or maybe a couple throws, maybe. Oh, perfect. We got oh, both of them. We got Bray. Wow, got what a final Hello. game. What do we think? I know, I was like sweating. Oh my god. I thought he was, was dead when I fireballed him off stage. I had a feeling he would jump, so that's why I back aired and it looked like it worked. I, I thought I was dead though, like multiple times. Bray, what like, was... when you down smash me at ledge, I thought you were gonna two frame me. I was like, oh my god, he's gonna that's hit me with that. <laughs> yeah. Bray, when did you realize that your key to victory was reading ledge jumps? Ledge jump. What was I don't the, know. What was the ledge? You caught I him just twice. like I. I, I I know, he just I just have that feeling, you know. I can't really describe it. When you pulled off the I can, up I can smash, just feel when he can jump. When you pulled off that up smash that didn't even kill, it felt like such a call out that I thought I was missing something. <laughs> I thought there was something that Quent was doing. Like, that was definitely he, a call out, yeah. Is he only jumping off ledge? Like how did he No, I wasn't just No, was he wasn't always jumping off ledge, like, right? But, but he does it a lot, though. That's what I noticed. Because it's, I think it's my best option to get off stage. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Yeah. 
I, I think that's it. Yeah. I thought, Especially with Ridley because he can jump in there and like it's hard to challenge. So yeah, hard yeah, to yeah. Uh, Quent, we do have a question. Do you wish you could bring back a couple of those smash attacks for something else towards the end there? No, absolutely not. Because if he ran into them, he would have died. So I know I was, I was so he'd run into <laughs> because he kept spin dashing into me at the, the in, at, when he went Sonic first stock. He spin dashed into me. I, I gave him like forty percent because he kept doing it. I was yeah. like, okay, cool. I'm just gonna see if he wants to do it again throughout the game. And I was like, like if I get one F smash and it hits, he just dies. It doesn't matter where it's yeah, from. Yeah, that's exactly. So that's why I thought it was fine to spin F smash. We started the set or the game when you switched to Sonic talking about, all right, it's really going to be a battle between how patient Bray is going to play this Sonic and how patient Quent's going to be to not like to deal with it and be like, all right, Sonic's just going to spin dash in the corner. I'll just let him go fuck off, I guess. But what really happened was Bray spent about like three seconds being like, all right, I'm going to mix him up a little. And then you guys just went at it. Just hand to hand like, from the beginning. Crazy. Quent caught you with like an F smash read on one of your know, spin dashes yeah. right on the first stock. I was like, oh my God, we're getting those. <laughs> uh, so I could tell that the momentum was just swinging and I'm glad it was just a really good set. I had so much fun watching it. We're about to go to uh, Myth versus Wrath here in a second. Um, definitely an interesting matchup during pools uh, yesterday. Raph definitely got his ass handed to him. Uh, but yeah. I think there will definitely be some time for some revenge. I'm sure Wrath is getting Let's fired see. up to try and uh, take the set off Myth. So if Wrath ends up winning this game, it will be a huge upset. Huge uh, we've got upset. Puff versus Palutena. Palu, how do you feel about this matchup? Um, I feel like Palu definitely has a distinct advantage with Nair Loops as well as just having some really good disjoints on the smash attacks and just having some decent zoning options and range. But Puff has a lot of air mobility and can get in air for free mobility. very quickly against Palutena and also dominate her off stage. Yeah. Um, it's going to yeah. be up to Raph to get Palu off stage and try and get these confirms. Yeah, I think I really think so as well. Um, yeah, definitely Palu has the tools to really deal with, um, you know, just aerials really the aerials like i mean you know nair nair absolutely really you got nair to yeah <laughs> really i mean if nair. it works that's all jiggly oh, puff needs to get right. you off stage Sorry so far myth is doing a great job at the zone and keeping his distance uh, doing retrieving right. nair it catches going Catch for up air try to get something there out of the double jump he couldn't a answering back on his own got a nice little right. combo there uh oh Falls out of the jab. Oh no. That was some amazing SCI coming out from Wrath, hopefully. Oh, All and right. the up air just scoops up Puff. Scoops up. Myth takes the first stock over here. All right. How will Wrath answer back is the question. That is the million dollar question. How will Wrath answer back? Absolutely. Oh, he's off stage. Ah, oh, the up air sharking now. Oh, it's going to prevent Puff from doing anything right there. Oh no, air dodge no. straight into an F smash. Almost took the second stock like that. Almost gets a ledge trump there. I don't think Rapper's prepared for it though. All right, goes for a fair. Palu is once again off stage, but gets denied with back air. All right. All right, Palu is off stage again with a nice nair. Let's see. Oh, it's close. Oh, no. oh and the oh, counter right. spike, the second stock. Myth just jump. running away with it Wait, right now. This. Yeah, I. Rath needs to think of something quickly, or so. Uh, I really feel like Myth is just gonna run away with the first game. I, I really could just see this happening at this point right now. Oh, goes Let's for down out. smash, but perfect parries it. Perfect parries. You know, earlier in pools, Rath was going for a lot of rest confirms, and right now he seems a little scared. It seems like he doesn't really want to go for it. And I don't blame him, considering being two stocks down, but at the same time, he could have gotten a really early advantage if he got something going here. That back air is going to take the stock, but he still has to make up the distance. Make it up, yep. Um, let's see Let's see how the um, Rath uh, chooses to approach. Let's see. Gets thrown. Okay. Gets this thrown is a bad spot up. for Rath. He could get spiked again if he's not careful. Right. I think, I Myth think allowed Wrath. Wrath to come back center stage, just gave up the, the edge guard there in the ledge trap. What was up with that? I don't know, maybe, uh, uh oh, oh shit, hang oh. on a second. Hold on. Uh, Unfortunately, none of those forced oh, no. attack situation. Uh, back throw's just gonna do it. Myth, just taking Myth. game one with two stocks. Myth really takes game one with this, all right. I wonder if we're gonna see a character swap from Wrath. He does have the Marth in the back pocket if he ever needed it. Uh, we might Marth. be seeing that today. We could see the Marth. Um, 
I will say for Puff, um, I think with Puff, I think it's really just um, more just like really. I think she'll like. It. I think Rat, if, if he chooses to play Puff again, I think she'll try to like just weave in and out, you know, just being mindful of how Tina's hitboxes. I like, agree. Um, yeah. Raph definitely out. started out very aggressive at the start, and he got punished for it. He lost, you know, two stocks, and then he just he couldn't play defensive anymore after that. But he decided to, and it cost him the game. Um, but we are seeing a character swap from both players, as a matter of fact. It looks like Myth is going to swap off the Palo. Maybe he's thinking that he got a lucky fluke. I don't know. We'll have to see. And after the game interview, what his thoughts were about that. But. Uh, we're about to be going into game two here. It's not over yet for Wrath. He can still take a game off Myth and make it 1 1. And we, yeah, we'll have a very definitely. electrifying match going here if that yep. is the case. Mm -hmm. Definitely. No, it's uh, uh, it's not over yet for Wrath. But I think if Wrath can uh, somehow find the strategize a way to really kill him. Uh, so I just got word that uh, Myth is switching to Sephiroth and he has banned Battlefield, Smashville, and Final Destination. And it is Wrath's pick for the stage. I see. Alright, so we've got a Sephiroth in the, uh, the bag over here. Hmm. Alright, so we'll see what pick. stage Wrath is going to counter pick on. Um, he is on going the, Marth. Uh, Mac, what, what stage do you think Marth excels in the most? Mm. I really feel like, uh, I think stage with platform, I think with the platform, so I think it helps Marth on through this. I think it'll help with platforms. Like, but, yeah, it I, seems I feel like, like platforms could like shark on these platforms. Right. Um, I just got word that Wrath has picked Small Battlefield for his stage, um, which means uh, that it seems like you were correct that Mar he did definitely want a stage with platforms that he could shark under with Marth. Um, but also, not having the top platform might give Marth a bit more aerial space to get some interesting confirm, maybe like a fair chain or uh, I don't know, anything, maybe get some juggles of some sort. Uh, we'll see. Marth versus Sephiroth. Or Sephiroth. What do you think of this matchup, Mac? Who do you, who do you think has the advantage here? Uh, hmm. I, I really do go, go either way, honestly. Like, Marth has, like, the ground speed really necessary to close the distance between Sephiroth. But, like, on the other hand, I really think Sephiroth really has the distance to could kind of just keep Marth, like, away at a distance. The thing Marth is going to have to worry about is the zoning potential that Sephiroth has. It's going to be hard for him to get in, especially if Myth uh, goes for these side Bs like he did at the start of the game here. Goes for down smash, looking for a really early shield break, apparently. Oh, Nair denies it, though. Nair denies it. Nair does deny it. God. He's getting Shark on these platforms here. All right, nice get up attack. All right, nice get up attack. Myth is looking okay. for the back air, doesn't get it. Ooh, nice scintilla nice though. Nice, nice counter. All right, you got side B, a full thing of side Bs as well. Trying to go for another ledge okay. shark here, it looks like. Oh, and the oh, shield. The shield oh, the shield break. Oh no, the wrong way. I, do, I have no idea what Myth is what going happened? for there. I, that might have either been a misinput or something. I have no clue, or maybe he's just taunting him. Maybe some mind game is going on here. Get under his skin. Different. But Myth is going to take the first stock here, second game. Okay, and this is that, all right. right. Back onto back air. And Wrath just getting caught on these platforms with Nair, and uh, Myth is able to just put on so much pressure very quickly on these platforms. It's really dragging up a lot of percent for Wrath here. Yeah, I agree. Wrath is holding. Oh no. Held the F smash, but actually pushed him forward just enough for down smash to connect with the sweet spot, and that's going to take the second stock. Wrath really needs to figure, figure something out right now. Wrath, yeah, Wrath absolutely needs to figure something needs out. Needs to figure very something quickly. out. Or he will be going to lose his. Oh, hang on. If Myth SDs a bunch, then there is a chance for Wrath to bring this back. Uh, we have seen the Myth SD many times, and uh, I believe there was a few times even in pools where he SD'd a couple times with some different characters. But, uh, yeah. So, this is gonna be stock, uh, 
Wrath almost actually had something there with the uh, jab lock almost because Myth did miss the tech, but he didn't get anything off it. Myth going for a hard read down air into F smash. Good spacing. Wrath is definitely, um, doesn't seem too inclined to go for any risky plays like counter right now, and I don't really blame him, but that would have taken the stock for sure if he got a tip or counter. Down throw. Oh, Myth goes for a huge read, but misses it. It's now 1-1. Wrath does have a chance to bring this back. He just has to pop off this last stock. Yeah, it just has to play very calculated. Good spacing on that up tilt. All right. Oh, he's playing he's more mind up. games with them. He's doing his uppies, but he's not doing the full charge. That move is very hard to punish if it's not charged. Oh, my goodness. Goes for the forward throw. Oh, almost got it. Wrath challenging Sephiroth Uppy with down air of all things. It almost worked out for him. Almost worked out? Uh, it's getting close. Oh, F tilt. Hang on, he's not dead yet. That was some good DI. Hang on a second. It's not over yet. That's for down tilt. Probably gonna be looking for an F smash. Oh, the B reverse neutral B, and that is going to end it. It takes the set to go. That was, Wrath just completely crumbled. Uh, he could not, he just couldn't find any openings and Myth pretty much just read all of his options and he got scared on the last stock there. That was unfortunate. Fortunately, that only means that Wrath is um, now in Blues' bracket, but it's not over yet for Wrath. Wrath could make a loser run out of this. Yeah, potentially. I mean, there is always losers. Uh, so always Myth really is moving on to winners and he will move on to, I believe, fight you, actually, in the second round. Yes, does look like it. Yes, we are going After to seeing this down. game, Mac, are you, uh, have you become a bit more afraid of the matchup at all? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, definitely not. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really feel too, uh, too, uh, phased about that. I don't feel phased. I think I might be able to figure something out with this. Well, let's go ahead and get Myth in here for an interview. Myth, you took Wrath 2-0. Um, you definitely... So you start out with Palutena, and then you swapped up to Sephiroth that set, and uh, we also saw a switch from Wrath. He went Jigglypuff to start, and then went into uh, Marth. Marth. Uh, yeah. And that first game, Myth, you kind of played kind of passively. Uh, you didn't really try and ledge trap the Jigglypuff or edge guard the Jigglypuff. You just let him come back into neutral and you were able to punish him every time for it. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on that sort of strategy because, you know, normally I would expect you to go for like some crazy edge guards. Yeah, what was the thought process behind it? Um, so a lot of his recoveries were just way too fucking high for me to deal with. And I felt there was a few times where if I could get like a lucky down air, that was worth it. Rather than trying something like a up air off stage, just reaching. Uh, there was a lot of times where specifically versus Puff, I felt that if I just backed off and played neutral and like stayed away and like even just like let him set the pace of the game, that would be better for me because Palutena just can turn things around so quickly. And because um, I knew that with Puff at least, the way that she has to play is all of her momentum just goes into her moves. So if like, like if she pounds toward me and I space it right, I can just like hard punish. And we're going to be playing based off of uh, Gentleman's first round at PS2. We know that Spec is coming in with Isabel and B Gunner, while Mac typically will play Shulk, but has been seeing playing a lot of Pythra lately. Uh, all of the games that we played in pools saw many different characters. Uh, I even played Yoshi for a match because we did randoms. But regardless, they'll probably be pulling out the mains every single round here and we'll really see what they got to go. Uh, let's introduce my co-commentator as we start this Isabel Shulk match. Hello everybody, my name is Quint. I'm happy to be co-commentating today this electrifying match for sure. We have Isabel versus Shulk, which is an interesting one. Um, Isabel definitely has the range with fair and back air for sure, and also has those traps with side B as well as down B. So Shulk might have a hard time getting through, but this is Mac we're talking about, and 
He definitely has some crazy fair chains, and uh, he's also very quick on getting those Monado arts online as quickly as possible. So I think this is going to be a really patient game, and when Spec doesn't have a setup like mine or uh, the the tennis balls going out, the the pink whatever it is that the. the you know what I'm talking about, fair and bare. But uh, Shulk can immediately get the speed advantage at any moment. Uh, Max already, and the uh, spec already having Mac at 49% here. Is in control of the neutral. Goes for a down throw, doesn't get any connection. Goes for a nair as an anti-air. Nice up smash as well. He gets wow, the conversion with the upper. All right, so Mac gonna go into speed mode, gets a nair there, but nothing else. Goes for a fair, fair off stage. Isabel's now off stage and has that's, to recover high. That's gonna be the um, problem. Isabel setting up can get beat by a, a nice speed art. Absolutely, and not only that, but Chol can just switch up whenever he needs to, so he can lay on the pressure. And then oh, oh, and an SD on Pokemon Stadium too. This is the last thing you want to see here today, ladies and gentlemen. However. It's not over for Mac yet. Isabel is at 60%, and one Smash R F Smash could end the whole thing for Isabel here at 60%. Momentum still in the set, set, uh, sixth seed's favor. Really like how Spec stayed in shield when he knew that Mac was going to run up really fast with that speed art instead of going for the grab because he's been going for aerials most of the time. So Mac might have to switch things up here if he wants to get those conversions in the speed mode. I said six, it's seven. I don't know why. I Wait, no, what? Six seed. Mac is uh, three. This is three six. Yeah, uh, this would be kind of an upset if Spec won this here today. That would be huge because I think this would change how Mac treats the whole series uh, set. At least. Uh, oh, absolutely. Look, we might look, even see a character switch if he loses the first round here. Look how aggressive he's getting. Yes, yeah, Spec is definitely going on the offensive. Jab into F tilt and now going for side B to try and catch Shulk recovery. Doesn't get it though. That jump bar definitely came in clutch. A lot choked to go extremely low. Ooh, Ooh reversal uppy. Oh. But Shulk is sitting at 123%. Any smash attack or even a back throw could kill right now. Anyway, Shulk at 135%. Isabel at 59. Shulk going into shield mode here. Still getting these fares, just these straight hits. They're definitely racking up the percent. Going as a smash would almost got the F smash at a ledge. That would have killed Isabel for certain, but unfortunately, shields it. Yeah, he's getting the fair here. He goes for another F smash the ledge. He's trying to. Okay, he got the frame trap there. This would be. He goes for, for a cheeky side B. Oh, he blew it there. Jumps that over the Lloyd Rocket. Ooh, what that's it. No jump. So far. Oh my god. Oh. That was huge. He's gonna All right, Max, you have to pull something crazy out here. He's going to go into smash mode right away and try and get this kill as quickly as possible to even things up. He's already taken 13%. Great spacing by Mac. He just couldn't get the, the connection. Absolutely. He's been dropping a couple of conversions this game, which I'm sure has gone into his head as the set has gone on. Meanwhile, Spec is probably pretty calm and just perfectly fine with spacing now whenever he needs to. Goes in the jump mode, goes super low. Unfortunately, doesn't get anything. If he had more, he knows he wishes he had more aerial. Ooh, distance and a there. straight F tilt that's just going to kill. He wanted to re B reverse that uh, up B again and kill Mac going, or Spec going really high. Absolutely. And it worked the first time, so I mean, why not go for it again? It goes into Buster mode. Might get a crazy combo here. We'll see. Isabelle's jab, though, constantly shutting down Shulk when he gets close, as well as these up tilts. You'd think that Shulk would have a, a monumentous advantage against Isabel with the dish points of his sword, but it seems like Isabel has just faster burst options when it matters. Max got such good... Pro oh, here we go. Max oh, got such on. good presence with uh, jump and speed. That sometimes when he goes into Buster, it might not even be better for him at the end of the day. It definitely depends on percent for sure, I think. Because, like, Buster can, like, rack up a lot of damage, but you have to get a combo star in order for it to actually, like, matter. It also might help late percent. Ooh, the crazy challenge in that F smash. Let's go. Oh, and the fair wow. stage. Talk about a comeback. Punishing that the whole tether game. recovery. Interesting. First game goes to Mac. He was at a deficit that whole game and Such managed to bring it back very swiftly. From Spec. Jeez. What a great... Because uh, what was getting to me was the, the side Bs felt like him giving up a little bit in neutral <laughs> uh, when, <laughs> when he just land with it. But I, I can definitely see how it'd be useful here and there. Oh, so we are going to see a character swap. 
Uh, I honestly thought that Isabel was working out pretty well for Spec, but maybe Spec just thought that the tether recovery was too exploitable and just wanted to switch, switch characters. Now we're seeing a me gunner come out. At the end of the day, Shulk can just get in very easily with those arts, uh, so this might be a bit harder for him. That's right, he's the Barret. Um, this is going to be an interesting matchup here because this is a different, complete, almost completely different kind of zoning. He's definitely going to want to sit in one spot more rather than sit in a spot and then move as Isabel. Like, uh, I feel like he's going to come out of this with a completely different kind of mentality. Like, yeah, you can already see it now. Meanwhile, the zoning is just going crazy. Mac already has 74%. Spec has only taken 15. Um, he's gotten a lot of stray hits with these missiles already, and the percent is racking up very quickly. Oh, but Schultz, Mac gets in with the speed art once again. Got a nice little conversion there, Naren to fair. Did a decent amount of damage, but he's going to have to get a few more of those in order to make up the deficit, I think. You can just see how Mac is like trying his best to learn from this new uh, style because instead of the the fares that Isabel had, now you get these missiles and these bombs that take up so much more space. And Spec will always be able to have an option from any distance because he's just oh, filling the screen. Wow, what a, great, what a great up smash. Uh, smash. All right, let's see. Let's see if uh, Spec can answer. He didn't know where to throw him because he was in shield art. <laughs> oh, shit, what do I do? I would just up throw him and went for like Nair or something in shield mode. Just get the percent on. But... Oh, that's... that's... Uh, not bad. Maybe this I'm not going to kill yet. It's interesting that Spec is not really going for any anti-airs. I haven't seen an up tilt or an up air yet from Spec. And considering Max jumping quite a bit, we'll see if he can adapt or not. Mac really trying his best to get the Oh, first falls airs. out of the us smash. That would have killed. Wow. Looking like Samus out here. It was practically a DI mix up. Well done, Mac. Oh, there's a Nair. Didn't connect yet, though. Mac is playing very safe. So we see him. He's chilling at the ledge, trying to wait for Spec to approach so he can punish it. Just like that. Just straight into speed mode. Goes for a down to try and uh, extend that combo, but put wow. an F smash. Going super deep for a fair. Almost worked out for him. If he snapped the lights though, he might have been able to get an option quicker. Goes for the jab, goes for a missile. He delays his recovery, that was really smart, but Spec converted that stray health. The missile got a kill for it. Oh, he's got to play safe here. This is not Max. good for him. Oh, Max getting a little desperate here going to smash, but I think a little prematurely because that's not going to kill quite yet. Such good spacing. Spec is off stage and Mac has all the pressure in the world to work with here. He gets out of it though, he's back in neutral. Again, those stray missile hits doing 15% a piece. You know, if he only hits like three or four of those, Mac is almost in range to be oh, killed by, a, you know, an F smash. Barrel stuffing him. And speaking of F smash, I mean, there it is. He just it has insane range, and if you get Mac range on it, it's pretty safe. There it is again, just wow, punishing these jump taking the from lead Mac. from all this. Mac came into the second stock with such a great advantage. Hang on, he's off stage though. There's oh, a fair. No. He's done. He's got to think uh, about an off stage presence. Spec Spec really needs to just start. I think if uh, he went higher, go medium to mix up his recovery a little bit, Mac wouldn't be getting these confirms on him. But at the same time, Me Gunner has a pretty good recovery that can also spike if you challenge it. So uh, we might see some shenanigans play out there later it's, on in the set. It's the uh, risk reverse reward of Spec like just taking up space all the time with his missiles and bombs because uh, once he gets those out, it's like, like look, Mac can barely get in. Once he gets a few of those out, it's difficult to know what exactly to do versus uh, me gunner. But off stage, you gotta uh, try something different. As soon as he gets that speed mode, Justin, he's right in there. Like the projectiles don't match; he just runs was, straight through them. That was not. Oh, optimal. that was a missed tech. That was <laughs> unfortunate by Mac. He just dies to the side view there. Oh, oh the F smash on his jump in. Set. Wow. Two zero to Mac. Mac is definitely the one to beat here today. I'd say. Because um, even in pools, he was popping off pretty hardcore. First game was so close, too, because uh, that first stock or two by a spec was so well done. But my goodness, well done, Mac. Moving Mac on. Mac just the laid the pressure on the whole time during that entire set. Would not give spec the space that he needed to get something going. That was very well done by Mac. All right, and you have your winner for the Mac versus Spec first round. They will be playing the winner of myself and Wrath. Uh, oh, I'm excited to see that matchup. Get someone in the booth. Uh, 
I have to stay. Like, that was a good first game. <laughs> that was a really good You were, um, game. you kept closing the distance on, Isab on Isabel and uh, the Me Gunner with speed art, and I was like popping off for you. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mac, that, any um... thoughts after that game? Uh, I will, okay. I uh, was speaking with, um, Beck on this. There were moments he definitely did get me with the uh, familiarity because, um, Me Gunner, Isabel, those are two matchups that are uh, very uncommon, first of all, and also I don't get many chances to play against them, especially on like, you know, on a decent level. So, I will say, there were some moments Spec really got me with some stuff, but then I kind of just had to like tell myself, not to get, you know, not to get frustrated about it. Just don't get frustrated, you know, just really calm down, take a deep breath, you know, just assess the situation and really go from there, honestly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you definitely seemed like you were in the zone on that second game. God damn it. Yeah, so it was kind of like, you know, the first talk, or first game as well. Alright, maybe it might have gotten me some stuff, but then it's kind of like, you know, assess the situation, you know, just really think about it, slow it down a little bit, take a step back, you know? It's like one of those moments. Because usually I do get those moments where, you know, Especially a matchup like Isabel or me Gunner, you get walled out with projectiles. Definitely, they're well walling out with projectiles. And, Absolutely. Uh, honestly, it could really frustrate. It could frustrate some players. If you like it. Honestly, like trust me, I got a little frustrated at, it, um, at the moment. But you kept your calm and you managed to find some great openings and even get some confirms out of it. Like uh, when you were going into speed mode and jump mode, you got in almost every time on the Isabel and the me Gunner, and it really paid off for you. You really racked up percent. And really took advantage of all those openings. Yeah, um, really, it was brilliant to see. Yeah, I really think so too. I actually, I, I couldn't agree more with you, honestly, on this. Like, I definitely agree. I really agree on that. Um, it was kind of like really more focusing on just, you know, playing mid range and really just closing the distance on. So, like, a close the distance on Isabel, but also while keeping myself at a certain range and really work from there. 